Dear black people, please move to the South. If you're shocked by that and maybe didn't hear exactly what I said, I'm going to repeat it for you. Dear black people, please move to the South. At the very least, that statement is horribly offensive, and not just to blacks. It's offensive to anybody who believes we as Americans, we as people, should be defined as something more than our skin color. And no, it didn't come from a white pride website. That headline, that line, came from the New York Times. Mr. Charles Blow wrote it. He's a wealthy New York Times op-ed writer with homes in New York City and Atlanta. His kids graduated from Yale, Middlebury, and Columbia, a contributor on MSNBC. Fair to say Mr. Blow is far from disenfranchised. Yet he wants to expand power. And he thinks that comes from consolidating geographically the black vote. There is no way to truly have power in the country if you do not also have access to state power. And there is right now no state in the country where Black people are a majority and not one where they are projected to be a majority. And that powerlessness is something that I detest. It would appear based on that, that to Mr. Blow and everyone, uh, somehow Mr. Blow believes everyone and their political beliefs are defined by race. Which hardly seems fair, but it also sounds a little bit racist. Georgia State Rep Misha Maynard just switched from Democrat to Republican because of this very issue and joins us now, I'm, I know you had a chance to read this. I'm wondering what you thought. I absolutely did not agree with it. Um, one thing I can say that, Charles Blow, please go to my website, MishaMaynard.com, and contribute. Let me tell you why I don't agree. Politics in the South is not what people think it is. Atlanta is majority African-American. The schools are failing. County commissioners um, in jail right now for sexual harassment. Cities, South Fulton, people are leaving the city because they are completely fed up with government. So my suggestion is that we need politics and we need leaders to be diverse, not necessarily in color, but in thought. All black people are not the same. All black people do not think the same. And right now, what I see is that majority black communities that are led by black leaders are not providing services to black people. So how do we explain then Charles Blow's viewpoint that if black Americans, uh, who he views as, a, I guess, a uniform group of political thought, get control of a state, um, somehow that state is going to end up doing better um, than it would be under the control. And, and frankly, you'd think of Georgia, um, where you've got a state that went uh, for Joe Biden, yet also for a Republican governor, but has two Democratic state senators. I think the voters in Georgia are smart. Um, but we also must look at reality. The world, the population is 60 percent white. Um, Asian population grew by 105 percent. Hispanic population grew by 80 percent. Black population grew by 31 percent. And Black people are 39 percent of abortions. So Black people are not going to be the majority of anything. And so what I suggest to people is, what is the reality? You're not going to be the majority of anything. So what is your reality? Let's move forward with that reality and let's not let's not pretend and tell people that all black people are going to solve black people's problems um, because the proof has already been proven that that's not true. Thanks for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.